new year and today we have another car vlog. I am on my way to the dentist and I am running late. Well not like, what in the world is going on here? How the fuck? Not like late, then I'm going to be late to my dentist appointment, late for getting up. I set my alarm, well my, my appointment is at 10.20 a.m. Okay? So I set my alarm for 7.17 a.m. Okay, because I am not a morning person. So I have to get up, get my coffee. Like I always have to be up a couple hours before I leave, okay? Well, then I hear ping, you know, when you get a text message and it was like 8.10 and it was my dentist, like, you know, automatic te text, like, you know, you have an appointment at 10.20, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what? So I looked to see, did my alarm go off and I didn't hear? I said it for p.m., not a.m. So then I had to like get up, I had the puppy with me and take the puppy out. She'll be a year old, I think on the 26th in a couple days. I can't believe it already, aura. And then I had to get my coffee and all that. So I'm still like kind of tired, you know, because I don't know. I just have to be up a little bit, you know, to wake up. So I'm on my way to the gas station because I'm on a quarter tank and I need to put some gas in the car because my dentist is about 40 minutes away. So, I mean, I have enough gas to get there, but I don't know if I'm gonna feel like getting gas when I get back. So this is my last dentist appointment. So the last one, you know, I got like my root canals and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just getting the four, um, the temporary crowns. I'm getting the permanents put in. And then this one here that keeps chipping at a cracked tooth here. Um, and they keep bonding, it keeps coming out, so they're gonna rebond that. And if it keeps happening, they're just gonna have, what the fuck, I'm just wearing, backed up on me. They're going to have to like cap it, I guess. Well, I would cap two, my both of my front teeth, so it'd be even. And, um, so that's what we're doing. So I live in Jersey. A lot of times you guys ask me, we do not pump our own gas. There is a, um, a gas attendant who does that. I fill it up with super. Fill it super? Yes. Okay, you gotta open it. I didn't open it? I must've did the trunk. Or if you hit the button, it, you have the trunk open. Uh. Happy five. I still didn't get it, what the heck? Oh, I keep hitting the trunk. Sorry. And you said fill the super? Yes. Okay, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And then like, I know a few of you say like, do you, do you guys tip them? And no, they're not allowed to take tips because they make pretty good money. I mean, they make like $18 an hour. So they do pretty good. Cause a lot of times it's younger kids that work here or like, retired people that just need a job to like keep going you know what i mean um but that's their job that's just what they do you know i know that like jersey there's only like a couple states left in the u.s that still has gas attendants but i didn't realize that until i started getting gas and so many of you guys were like you don't pump your own gas and i didn't realize that you guys didn't know that there are some states that still get their gas pump like we're not allowed we get in trouble we can even if we want to we are not allowed to pump our own gas we're just not allowed so it's funny when i go to different states even like the next states over like if i go to maryland you know or what have you in it or virginia uh just anywhere and it's like I'm, I'm sitting in the car and i'm like oh shit. i remember the first time i thank god i had this guy he was like are you all right i'm like i don't even know what to do i didn't even know you go in first and pay for the gas because I, I i did i don't know you do everything here now if you go into the wawa and you go in and buy stuff then you can pay for the gas inside you know you can say oh i was at pump six or whatever um but yeah weird It's not bad. Came to almost thir almost thirty three dollars. It's not bad. I remember how expensive gas was because gas went down a lot here. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You as well. Thank you. I only need it 7.6 gallons and gas is $4.29. For um super. It's three fifty five for regular. Okay. So let's do this. It's nine twenty eight. So I, you know, I'll still be a little few minutes early to the dentist. I just I, I like being up a few hours early. Anyway, enough about that. So I have some things to tell you. Today's Tuesday morning. What is that shaking? I don't know. Um, I get a text message Sunday morning. And one of my friends that I knew since I was like 18, 17, 18 years old, her daughter passed away. I don't know why this is doing this. Her um, daughter passed away. Um, her daughter had sickle cell really bad. And she wasn't supposed, the doctor said, you know, she wouldn't live past 12. Well, she just turned 35, three days after her birthday, after her 35th birthday, um, she passed away. She was already in the hospital, not doing well. And I knew Day. I don't know why I turned, I didn't have to turn. Um, I knew Day since Day was eight. So her mom, Wanda, who I'm friends with, she is one of them that, let me tell you some stories. This is when I used to get in trouble. I met her. I don't know why this is doing this and it's going to me off. Let me um, pull over real quick and um, handle this because I think it's just loose. So Wanda was the type of friend. I knew her, like I said, since I worked at Walmart when I was with uh, Tyler's father. I mean, even before I was pregnant, I knew her. And I remember I told you guys stories. What is that noise? I got so much going on. I don't even know what is going on here. I told you I used to fight the girl, the one girl that split my shit open and all that kind of stuff. Well, I remember this is right after like I did something I shouldn't have done. And I had Tyler with me and I knew the cops were looking for me. So I remember calling Wanda and I'm like, listen, I have cops coming looking for me. I have Tyler in the car. Can you ride with me to go to my mom's house? Cause it was the next city over. I'm like, cause if they pull me over, I, you know, I, I want to get Tyler to my mom's house. Why did I not just say here, turn myself in and say, here's Tyler. Here's my keys. Take Tyler to my mom's house. Keep the car. What? I, I, I don't know, but my brilliant idea. So she was cooking. I remember she was frying steak. And she had two kids at the time, two young kids at the time. And she turns the steak off. She's like, okay. She gets in the car with me and she ride, and I ride all the way to my mom's house with Tyler. Drop Tyler off. Meanwhile, I had, it was like three cop cars following me. Okay. Cause they found my car. Everybody knew I had the red car with tenant windows, you know. I used to get so mad at Wanda because every time I would get in trouble, she would call my mom. And I remember one time going back to, you know, where I lived at, I lived with my son's father and like she was there, my mom was there. And my mom was just, my mom had walking pneumonia. My mom was sick a lot, you know? And I remember so mad at Wanda, I'm like, why are you calling my mom, telling my mom anything? And you know, I was at that age and in trouble that even my mom couldn't stop me. If I was angry, want to fight somebody or get in trouble, like nobody was gonna stop me, you know? And I don't know, we, she threw my baby shower. Only like five or six people were there because like my mom and grandma didn't come, you know. Uh, my family didn't come. They didn't approve of me dating outside my race and all this kind of stuff at that time, you know. Um, and I still have the VHS, H, ta VHS tape of Wanda being there and stuff. And then I get in trouble. I was sentenced to the four years, you know. We, I kind of like changed my life around and stayed out of trouble. Um, I, you know, I just moved on. I had more kids. Uh, you know, we kind of got out of touch, you know. 
but like on Facebook or something, she would message me, how you doing? I knew she moved out of state and everything. Well, my nephew passed away. He was 21. He passed away in 2018. Um, she was at the funeral and I seen her again. I'm like, hey, how are you? And I already knew like Charday's health was doing bad and stuff, but you know, we, we kept in contact here and there, you know. So when I get that text message, I was like, Let me call her. Anyway, I finally, I talked to her last night and you know, of course she's just heartbroken, you know, and it doesn't matter if you know somebody, like my mom, my mom was on hospice and I knew she was gonna die, but you never prepare yourself when it does happen. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just, you, you just don't think it's gonna happen. And my heart is broken for her. So they're in a different state and she's gonna try to, she wants to bring Sade back home. You know, this is her home, you know, I have the funeral and stuff. But it, you know, it just puts me like where I talked about before, like life is so short guys. You know, we get mad, we hold grudges or sometimes like we just move on, nothing, not, fighting with anybody it's just life goes on out of sight out of mind you know and it's sad I have this friend Leslie who I've known since I was in fifth grade and we would like ride our bikes together because I lived in Ocean City New Jersey at that time and we lived on 9th Street and 34th Street was the elementary school. So me and Leslie would uh, ride our bikes together, you know, in the morning. I mean, gosh, nine, 10 years old, we're like by ourselves riding our bikes to school. I mean, that's what you did. They didn't have buses, you know, you had to live like so far away to catch the bus. And um, we still keep in contact here and there. And I haven't seen her just before I had Tyler, you know, like physically seen her. And her mom still lives down the shore, right? And so she was like, she's coming up here. And she was like, can you want to get together? And I'm like, yes. I don't know, I'm a big believer. Life is so short and we, we just can't hold grudges. We need to be blessed for what we have, you know, because there's always somebody that has it worse than you. So anyway, let's get off of that sad stuff. I just want to let you know, like, you know, life is short. Be happy. Don't hold grudges. Now, there are people in your life you do need to keep out of your life because they're toxic. That's not what I'm talking about, you know. But if you haven't talked to somebody in a while, check up on them. You don't know what they're going through, you know. So I filmed three videos for my beauty channel. That's good. Because this week, ever since I've been doing, like, yard work and stuff, like... I've been so tired. I like don't want to do anything. So Sunday after I heard that news, plus I just didn't want to do anything. My body was just so sore. It's like, I remember I would be able to do like so much stuff and get, but I, I hate that my body's getting older or like health issues and that I just can't do how I used to do. And it pisses me off like no other. I hate it, you know? I remember like my grandmother used to say, I remember when I was younger, I used to clean this whole house all in one day from top to bottom. And, you know, she got older and couldn't do it. She'd do one room at a time and had to sit down for a little bit. And, but now I get it. I mean, I'm not that bad, but I understand now what she's talking about, how your body is, your mind is there, but it's like your body is not like how it was. You know, like I did the hedger and I cut all this stuff down and all that, but then it was like, my arms hurt it, my fingers hurt it from the carpal tunnel and different things that like, I had to wait till the next day to pick up the branch. Like, it, you know, stupid, I don't know. Oh, last night, so I'm, you know, I give Bella, you know, I tell you Bella's, you know, not eating as much. I'm giving her the soft food, you know. And so I open up the can and I friggin' cut myself right here. And then right here. But, you know, I'm off of my blood thinners now, but I, I don't know if it's I'm diabetic or what, but my blood is like water. So if I cut myself a little bit, I'm bleeding. Like I knew I didn't need stitches, but it took like at least 20 minutes before the blood to stop. And it was like bleeding, bleed, like, I mean, gushing out. And I was like, oh my goodness, I hate that. Like it scared me and then it was sore, but like I, I knew I didn't need stitches. It's like, when does it stop from off the blood thinners? Cause I stopped, it's been a couple months since I've I'm, I'm been off the blood thinners. Like, 
Is my blood ever going to get normal? I don't know. All right, I'm going to get off of here. I will talk to you when I get there because this thing keeps falling and is pissing me off. So I'll be back when I get to the dentist's office. I'll be back. All right, my tongue's soft. I love music. I listen to music all the time. I love it. Like, I think my favorite genre is 90s, definitely like 90s R&B, you know? But I like gospel. I like R&B now. Like, you know, hip hop. I like everything. So, anyway, I'm here. It is 10.06. My appointment's at 10.20, so I do have a few minutes to spare. But I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about the Brian Koberger, if I'm saying his name right? Me and my friend Lisa were talking last night, and he's the one who allegedly killed the four Idaho uh, college girls. One was a guy. And she doesn't believe in the death penalty. I do. And she has a reason. She feels that, you know, the system is flawed. If there is a death penalty, what about people that are innocent? Do you know what I mean? But it's like people like this... And if you know they're guilty, like if they go to trial and you have all this evidence and blood, like you know they did it, I think they should be the death penalty. Now, I know like a lot of states now are trying to bring the firing squad back and they're not doing lethal injection anymore for a few reasons. One, the drug, the owners of the drug um, are not selling it anymore to the prisons because there were there's so many uh like people are having heart attacks or they're not passing or it, it like uh, you know it's doing more damage than good and and so you know they're they're talking about like what should we do should we bring the firing squad back and i say if he is found guilty he definitely did it let the parents do it you know Four people, because that's how it is in the firing squad. You have four people. So there's four victims. Choose one of the, uh, uh, each family chooses one member. And how they do it is, so you have four guns. Only one of them is a lethal one. The other three are not. So you never know which person or which gun is the one that kills them, right? So do that and let them shoot them. You know, or, 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 or people that like hurt children or senior citizens, people that can't defend themselves. Like, I mean, this was a senseless, senseless crime. And um, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of that. Have you guys been keeping up on it? I really haven't been keeping up on it because it just upsets me. I, I just feel for the family and it's, it's, it, it, it's just sad. I, I don't. I don't understand it, but let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know why I'm so nervous because, I mean, they're just putting the, the four crowns on, so I have two front teeth and then two molars back here. They will have to give me a shot because they're gonna bond this tooth here, but like, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I just hate dentists. All right, let me get my butt up in there. I'll be back. All right, I just got out of there. I am numb. They fixed that bottom right here. So they bonded that. I got my permanence. But look, you see, because I have the missing teeth and I have a partial. I forgot my partial. So I have to go home because, you know, I told you. I, I If I don't wake up at a certain time, like if I'm rushing, I just, I don't remember. So I have to go home, try it on, make sure everything, you know, feels right. Or I have to come back for an adjustment. But I'm numb, so I really can't feel anything. But I'm glad. You almost forgot to bond that. And I'm like, oh. So then you had to come back and do it. But that was like 10 minutes done because he took an x-ray. It was no cavity or anything like that. It was just like a chipped tooth. And, you know. So I am going to go home. What time is it? Let me look. It's 11.17. I'm going to drive home. I have to stop at Wawa and get some milk. And, of course, some double dutch chocolate milk for my son. So I'm not going to uh, talk too much on the way home because this thing's messing up, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm definitely going to listen to some music and stuff, but I'm numb, so I don't want to keep talking and all that kind of stuff. So I will be back. All right, so I just got out of Wawa and I ordered me 
a salad, a chicken Caesar salad. And then I figure just for now, because you know I can't really eat anything or chew anything yet. So I got like a small chili. Would you look how, look how tiny that is. That's a small. And then I was like, well, maybe I want like, and this is like a Buffalo style mac and cheese. This is a small, which is fine. Cause I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I was like, that wouldn't even feed my kids when they were little. <laughs> like, Jesus. Anywho, I'm on my way home and, uh, I don't know if I'm going to finish the vlog or not. I don't even know like how, how many minutes this is. Probably a very short vlog. Or I might continue to vlog outside. I'm not sure. So I'll either be back with saying my goodbyes or more vlog. All right. I'm all over the place today. Okay, I'm back. So I wanted to come on before I edit this vlog because I never said my goodbyes. I... It's like 3.48, I think, because I'm looking at the clock over there, but I want to make sure it's right. Yeah, it's 3.49. And, like, I came home. I cleaned up the house a little bit, you know, like vacuumed, all that kind of stuff, right? Dust it. And then I came up here, and I fell asleep. <laughs> like, I'm literally just woke, waking up. I didn't even put a brush through my hair. But I do have my partial in my mouth for when I went to the dentist to make sure everything um, fit because... Like I said, I, I cannot believe I forgot it because they have to make sure when you put it in, like everything fits and it does. And I really like my teeth. So the crowns that I put on because the numbness and everything is gone now. I got these two crowns and then these two teeth here, my molars. I got permanent crowns for that as well. But I wanted to show you real quick. I ordered some stuff from like the Ipsy uh, website and I want to show you just a few little things. Um, right now I'm putting on from Bath and Body Works. If you don't know, I did a Bath and Body Works haul on my beauty channel. I will link that down below if you're interested in. I smelled all the fragrances that I bought, candles, the sprays, uh, like the mist, whatever they're called, fragrance mist, um, the lotions, because June 3rd is their semi-annual sale. And you better believe I'm going because I want to get some stuff for my boys and stuff. I did not know that they sell men's stuff because it's been like years like four at least four years since i actually been in there and maybe they always did sell it i just didn't know but anyway in that um vlog i ordered this watermelon lip gloss because i got some sales look at this i ordered the the light came in i just didn't feel like setting it up so i kind of like turned it over here because i always tell you guys when i do my morning coffee talks i have a light like a ceiling fan right here and that's it and so i have this see this so I have another light because like over here, I have two windows and in the middle, that's my setup that I do YouTube. But anyway, so we'll get it situated. My next coffee talk, everything should be situated and stuff. Anyway, I would never buy this again. I bought a couple like, I didn't even know they sold like makeup stuff. I knew they sold, do I have it around? No, I'm um, like a lip balm that I like, but I didn't know they had like lip gloss and stuff. So I, I got... You gotta get like three, buy two, get one free. So I was like, let me just try this. Anyhow, it's nice. It's lip gloss. It's just, it smells like watermelon and I like anything fruity smells, but it smells too, um, like, this is like preteen, teenager. It's like artificial smell. I would never purchase this again because I know lip gloss doesn't last long anyway, but within like minutes, it's gone. You know what I mean? So... Anyway, that's what I put on. So let me show you what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six items. And I don't know if it's just me, but if you guys get subscription boxes, if you guys get Ipsy or BoxyCharm, now it, now it's the box. It, now it's BoxyCharm by Ipsy. Um, but I remember when BoxyCharm when they had their own website, and when they had their like drop box or drop shop, like things were cheaper than what the Ipsy store is, in my opinion. But I got this Trilouse, um eyebrow pencil and they only had black available. I was going to get a dark brown, but I'm like, I, I need another one. And I was so happy when I opened up my Slay Glam box, but it was way too light. So I have to go very light handed with this, but so I'm glad I got this. I've never tried 
their um, lip, I mean lip, uh, brow products. I've only tried their eyeshadows, I think. Um, my favorite, I gotta stop saying um. My favorite is the NYX eyebrow pencil. You see how this oh, bothers me? But I just wanna see. So it's like one of these kind, and then you have the, sp oh, wait a minute. This is double ended. Oh, okay, so you don't get a spoolie, so you get the little like pointy one, and then the other one. I did not know that. Okay, well, I'm really happy. Because I could take this pointy one and shape it and use the other one to fill it in, and then the pointy one to do my little flicks. Okay, so we got that. Then I love Truly. I don't know what it is. Now, I did get, I keep looking at my stuff. I did get something in my BoxyCharm, and it was like a whipped butter. It was like rose fudge, and it smelled a lot like rose. Like, if you don't like rose scents, you ain't going to like that. And it was very thick, but it was like, it's like a pink texture. And when I put it on, it's like, it, it turns your arms like pink. So you have to put it on and then take like a lotion. Like, I like this, um... Jergens lotion right here because I like the scent and then like take this and put it on top of it to kind of help like uh blend it in I guess you know I will never get that again it's the only one that I found that I didn't like but I like all their other stuff so I seen this this is called moon rocks and this is their whipped body scrub and I love exfoliating and it looks like this and it smells like candy fruity. I don't know if you're going to like that, but I did get it just for like my legs and my feet, especially summertime's coming, my elbows, you know, all that. So I got that. I'm really excited for this. What did I do with the box that quick? Oh, it didn't come in a box. All right. I am most excited for this. So this is from Odyssey. Odyssey, I'm not sure. I wonder if I turn this night light on if this helps. That too. Oh no, that that like made it worse. Like I said, this will be the last time it looks like this. Um, and but this is the blue bomb, and it has it, it's a repair bomb. It has shea butter and calamine, um, in it. So I thought I haven't opened it up. Oh God, would you see this? Is what gets me? Look at this. Look at the size box, and then look at this. Now, my favorite, I use a balm, is from Key Soul Care. I love it. You can get a small one for $12 or like a big, bigger one for $24, and I already used that up. But I want to say, oh, look at that. That's nice. Um, I like this for at nighttime. See, it's like a balmy to put like right under my eyes. And then it's, this smells like menthol. And right here, and then I also have, some people have these two, like, wrinkles right here, but I just have that one. But, um, I have to be careful because I have just, I have a little mascara on, on my top lashes, and I don't want to have black all over my face. Um, I have to see what else is in here. I mean, it's not where I'm like, ooh, but it smells like medicine-y, so I have to see what that is. It doesn't burn. Oh, yeah, it says Blue Bomb. That's why and that is what it is. But it feels good. This is more thinner. I just, I like the keys a little bit better because the keys is a little bit more thicker. Um, this is more like thinner. Like, I, and I mean for nighttime. Okay. But it's, it's all right. I have to try it. It's first time using it. But look at the difference. Look, look, look at this. Okay. Um, and then I got from Earth Harbor, and I love Earth Harbor. This is, what is this? Oh, another bomb. This is an overnight bomb, so maybe this is a little bit thicker. I found Earth Harbor when Bella Box was available. It was a skincare brand, and, um, I, re I like everything from Earth Harbor. They have a lot of serums and stuff. Okay, so I don't know what you can see. Let's see what this feels like. This is like a, feels like an exfoliant too. It has like exfoliant in it. I don't know what it is because it's got, feels like it's like sugar or something, but it does feel balmy. I don't know. 
You know what I mean? It has like exfoliant in it. That's what it feels like, like scrub. But as I'm rubbing it, I don't feel it. I don't know. I wonder if this is a makeup remover. <laughs> I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> Let me get, are my glasses around? Let me see. Let me put my glasses on and uh, <laughs> I'm going to put a makeup, like a bomb, like a makeup remover. Every time I have these on, it reminds me of my mom because these were like my mom's same shape. And I remember the other night I had them on as I was reading my Bible and uh, Isaiah came down and it like caught him off guard because he reminded him of his, his grandma. Okay, let's see what this is. Super Fruit Radiance Balm, Sea Fruit, and Super Berries. I don't know. I'll look more into it, and uh, I'll put it on the screen like exactly what it is. All right, and I just have two more things. This is, uh, it's called Five Sens. This is a fragrance, and I think this was like $24 or $18, one or the other. And I wanted to get it to um, smell it. Oh, took the cap off. Come on. Let's put this back on. This is how it comes like this. And let's spray. Okay. Smells good. I would not purchase this again. It, it kind of has a floral smell than some other. I don't know. I'm not good at smelling, like um, describing things. It's okay. This is something that you, when you go out at nighttime, if you're going on a date, going out to eat nighttime, something like that. Um, it's like a little stronger smell, you know? And then last but not least, I got this. And this is from uh, One Size. And it's a, uh, what do you call that? Like a tenant moisturizer. And I got it in light, light O2. And I always have issues buying like foundations, tenant moisturizers, all that stuff, because I always get it too light. And my thing is I'd rather be too light than too dark because then I could put bronzer and stuff on, but I get it way too light. So I don't know. Um, so let's turn up the base. Oh, this is a BB cream. The same thing. And they didn't, ha a lot of the colors were sold out. So I'm gonna try this on tomorrow, the next time I do my makeup, because I'm filming tomorrow, and it'll be on this channel, all about how, how, to, how you start a YouTube channel, how much I, I'm gonna show on screen, like how much I make on YouTube, like the videos compared to the views and the length of time to explain all that, how engagement helps. I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna spill the tea, how much I make every month, on this channel so if you're interested in that make sure you are on the lookout or put your post notification bell on and hopefully youtube will send you the notifications but my under eyes feel really good i really do like this okay so yeah that's everything that i got I'm, i cannot wait to get in the shower to try this i don't know why i just like exfoliating my favorite is from uh tree hut and that's everything. So yeah, I wanted to come on real quick, show you this, say my goodbyes. Thank you guys so much for going with me just to go to the dentist. I told you I'm going to show you guys my everyday life and you know, but anyway, I'm going to get off of here because I'm very talkative. I'm going to, um, I got to edit for my main channel, my Ofer mystery box that actually, um, is available today on the 24th. So I want to get that up so you guys can see what's in it, decide if you want to get it or not. And the good thing is my code, just saying in all caps, actually works. It's going to be like 25 or 30% off. I, don't, I forget how much my discount code works, but you can actually use it on that because it's a $99 mystery box, but it's damn good. It is really, really good. And that's everything, guys. Please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it, the house mat as well. Make sure you leave a comment because commenting really does help out with engagement. Even if you just leave an emoji, I am starting my coffee talks. Like I said, I got the light, everything in. So now I could do all that. And uh, the coffee talks will be in the morning. And just because you see a coffee talk, you know, there still might be another vlog coming up later on that day. I just want to separate it for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's everything. I think that's all that I have to say. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, 
And most importantly, always stay you no matter what. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. It's Nala. I call her Nala Poo Poo. This is what she does when I film. When I'm like, Nala. See how she ignores me? Nala. These are the steps I have for the puppy to help her get up. Oh, now you're looking. Hi. And when I took Nala for my the walk and talk, she had like right here, like back here, she had five ticks there. And then she had a couple ticks on her paw right there. So I put this little collar on her for now. But that my Nolly Poo Poo. I got my Nola. See, she ignores me. Now, if I had a T-R-E-A-T -E or a B-O-N-E, she wouldn't ignore me. Just like the kids, they ignore me. This box right here that you see um, will be in a video coming up. It's a little review, but all right. Bye, guys.